Uh, KXAN camera is getting a first look at the progress of the George W. Bush Presidential Center in Dallas. The nearly 225,000 square foot center is set to open on about 25 acres of the Southern Methodist University campus. It's going to open in spring of 2013. Monday, a so-called topping out ceremony marked the placement of the center's final construction beam. Our political reporter, Josh Hinkle, takes us inside. It exceeds expectations. It is going to be a fabulous addition. The Bush presence runs strong at Southern Methodist University. For former First Lady Laura Bush, it's her alma mater. The 43rd President of the United States. And for President George W. Bush, something in the making. I'll never forget going to a classroom. I walked in, there's a guy with his hat on backwards. It was an early morning class. He kind of looks at me and he says, Man, you look like George Bush. <laughs> I hear that quite frequently. <laughs> SMU won't have trouble remembering his mark anymore. You enter here, there will be a fountain. As his own that. presidential center goes up on campus. While waiting to go in, you'll hear the splashing of the water. Architect Bob Stern led the first and only tour before it opens in just under two years. On the building's final beam hoisted high, you'll find Stern's name next to the president's and the first lady's. Bob has already told you about the building. I assume you told him about the Texas, told them about the Texas pecan. That'll... Yes, and I mispronounced it and I got called. You you called it a pecan? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just a few miles from downtown, it will include the archives of the president, a scholarly institute, and a museum for visitors. Creators wanted to give this 25-acre site a very interactive feel, something with a lot of replicas that people could walk through, like the White House Rose Garden outside, and something even more special inside. The public will be allowed in the Oval Office and be able to stand behind the desk and understand what it's like. Yes, a full-size version of the Oval Office from Bush's era along with other reminders of his presidency, like a piece of the World Trade Center towers that fell during his first term. I think it's going to be interesting for people to walk through and kind of recollect on what it was like during the eight years of my presidency. In Dallas, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News.